Hey everyone! Welcome to the analysis of Percy Bye's Shelley's poem, To a Skylark. In this video, we will be discussing the literary devices used in the poem and breaking down some of the difficult vocabulary to help you prepare for your exams. We will explore the themes of the poem and how they are conveyed through Shelley's use of language. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the poem's meaning and its literary devices. So, let's get started. The poem has 21 five-line stanzas and all of them follow the same pattern. The first four lines are metered in trochaic trimeter, the fifth in iambic hexameter, which can also be called an alexandrine. The rhyme scheme of each stanza is extremely simple, ABABB. Now let's understand the meaning of some difficult vocabulary used in the poem. Enraptured, meaning, filled with delight or joy. Ethereal, meaning, extremely delicate and light in a way that seems too perfect for this world. Intense, meaning, of extreme force, degree or strength. Glee, meaning, great delight or happiness. Seraph, meaning, an angelic being, usually associated with light and purity. Gulf, meaning, a deep chasm or gorge. Carnation, meaning, a type of flower, often used to symbolize love or admiration. Elysium, meaning, a place or state of perfect happiness. Now let's dig deep into the poetic devices used in the poem. The poem makes use of several poetic devices, including simile, metaphor, alliteration, and so on. Let's explore them one by one. Simile, the Skylark's song is compared to a blitz spirit, which emphasizes its otherworldly quality. Metaphor, the Skylark is compared to various things, such as a cloud of fire, unbodied joy, and a poet hidden. Imagery, the poet uses vivid descriptions to create images in the reader's mind, such as blitz spirit and carnation died. These descriptions help to convey the beauty and ethereal quality of the Skylark song. The poem is full of vivid descriptions that appeal to the reader's senses, such as a rain of melody and a star of heaven. Personification The Skylark is given human qualities, such as the ability to sing with joy and soar high into the sky. The Skylark is personified as a seraph with a voice that spills and flows like a river. This personification helps to create a sense of wonder and awe. Additionally, alliteration is used throughout the poem to create a sense of rhythm and musicality. The poet uses alliteration to create a sense of rhythm and musicality, such as pouring forth its soul and higher still and higher. The repetition of consonant sounds, such as in profuse strains of unpremeditated art and singing still dosed so. So that's it for the analysis. I hope you found this video helpful. Please share your feedback through the comments. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.